how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a palette that I got from QVC. It is the Billy X Galani palette that I had shared just recently in a video and we're going to do some swatches and I'm also going to do a look. So if you guys want to stick around and have a get ready with me swatch fest, keep on watching. So I picked up this palette from QVC. Uh, Billy B is a makeup artist and according to his uh, little um, bio here that he has, um, he's, it says, I have created some of the most memorable looks on some of the most iconic women that have become a part of pop culture history. To date, I have not spoken publicly about any of my tricks of the trade until now when I met Ida, the founder of Galany. So I've never heard of Galany. Apparently must be, you know, a makeup company. I've never heard of them, but that's the fun part, finding and experimenting and trying new brands that you never heard of. I, I like doing that. I immediately knew she would understand the textures and formulas that I would feel confident putting my namesake on. I am beyond thrilled to collaborate with Galani to release the Essentials palette of 19 signature shades. Within these shades, you can create a stage-worthy look or makeup for the office. I love that about this palette. It's major. This picture of him there. The only thing is, is the colors of the palette are on the back here. You're going to have to look on the back because they are not inside. But here is the palette itself. You can see all the colors. Every shade of the eyeshadows here are matte for except one. Like I said, it's like a, a satin matte maybe. These are more for the face, so that's why it's eyes and face. But you can use these also if you want to on your eyes, obviously. I mean, that's totally up to you. That's the great thing with a palette. You don't really have to do it in that way. I had to restart this because when I was doing the swatches, I realized the colors are in order. At any rate, I was reading them backwards. So let's start this swatch again. <laughs> this shade here is called, uh, I believe, Mode, M-O-D. This shade here is called Cashmere. This shade here is called uh, Vogued. This shade is Chiffon. And this shade is called CC. Okay, so there they are there. So you can see this one here, this one here that's called Mode, you can see it has like a shimmer to it, but then the rest of these are all matte, so like, yeah, that one's Mode, the shimmer one. And then when you get to this one here, it's called Cashmere. This one here you don't see too well on my hand, but there is a color there. I'm not seeing it too well. Maybe you'll see it, but I'm not seeing it too well. It's called Vogue. That one there is Chiffon, and then there's CC. Let's go to the second row here. The first one is called Hot, H-A-U-T-E. Next one, they call it Valentia. This one here is called Suede. This one's called Iris, which it is a purple uh, shade. And then the last one's called Bradshaw. I haven't really gotten to play with all the colors so I really can't say how well they all perform. Okay, here's the second row. This is the second row here. So the first shade, obviously that one's hot. That one's the Valentia, Suede, Iris, and Bradshaw. Bottom row is a lot of deeper colors and brown colors. This one's called LBD. This one's Leather. That one's called Maven. This one is Velvet. And this one's called Vintage. So here's the other shades here. And two look a lot alike and even off on, like even as I looked at them, they look similar, and that is this one here and this one. 
I'm thinking this one is just a little more darker, believe it or not, than that one. This one's more that reddish, like a reddish brown a little bit. Starting here, this is the LBD Leather Maven Velvet and Vintage. And on the bottom, we have the two highlights here and the contours. This is called Faux, F-A-U-X. This one's Milk and Honey. Bella Doll. And then that's Winter. Okay, there are other shades. Don't mind that one, that one there, because that's a, that's stained from the one last shades that I did. So those are the shades right there. And as you can see, the beautiful highlights, they are very beautiful. That's Faux, Milk and Honey. This one, you can't see too well. It has that ashy gray color, so that would, I can't wait. I didn't really work with that. Bella Doll and Wintour, this one here. I'm going to go ahead and start working into the palette. And I'm not going to make it a real, I'm going to try my best to edit as best as I can where it's not like forever, but you still can kind of see how some of them are performing. I'm actually going to go into this shade, this one right here first, called Vogued. I'm going to put that all over on my eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and take that orange shade, uh, Valentia and start working that around near the crease area and maybe work it a little bit above the crease also. So hopefully you can see, oh my God, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it might not seem much when you swatch them, but when you're putting them on your eyes, you gotta watch. So you can see they go on really nice. Like I said, you have to be careful. I should take my own advice. I'm going to use this here that's a little more precise, like a pencil kind of brush. I don't know the name of some of Mally's brushes. I'm not somebody that really... I should start working on explaining what brushes I'm using. I know that would be helpful, but I don't really have... A full-on set and I'm, I'm not no makeup artist anywho but um so I'm gonna take this color and that's the color called hot I'm gonna work it in a little more tighter in the crease you can see it's kind of making this beautiful um orangey pink look now I'm not going to put no more on this brush that I used when I dipped into that orange shade. I'm not going to add any more. I'm just going to work a little bit with it and with that color again, you know, like kind of, kind of blend them out a little bit together. And this shade here, chiffon, I'm going to go in there and work right above everything to kind of Put it all together so as they say no harsh lines <laughs> and i usually use like a fluffy brush this one i've had for a long time from soho I'm trying to debate what to put on my eyelids because part of me is thinking of doing cc which is that pale pink shade so Let's give it a try. As you can see, it's packing on really nice. Work with this brush a little bit more. And then I'm gonna work a little bit more in with the little pencil one that I did the pink color. I think last what I'll do is this color Maven. This one here, this dark brown in the middle, Maven. I'm gonna 
just dab it in there just to give a little definition in the eye area. There we go. And use the fluffy brush just to blend very slightly. I cleaned off this pointed end here and I'm going to use one of the highlighters and put in the inner tear duck area. I'm going to go, I'm going to put the one that's called milk, milk and honey, this one. So I'm going to finish up a few things and then I will be back and show you uh, out with the uh, face. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is the eye look I have right now with the orange and then the eyelids have that, like, the, um, that light pink. So pretty much I have all matte on my eyes. I didn't do, the only part I did was in the inner tier. I'm not sure if that's showing as well. Maybe I should have used a more uh, white shade maybe, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. I think I'm going to use that Mally brush I was sharing with you guys in uh, my favorites just recent, not not long ago, and um, use it to kind of work in the contouring. I want to try that lighter shade. I want to see what it does for my skin tone. And the lighter shade is actually called Bella Doll. I'm going to use the darker shade, Win Wintour. Let's see how that one works. I think I'll just leave it back there a little bit. I kind of blend it in a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to use this shade here to kind of just work along my nose. And then I'm going to use my fan brush and I think I'm going to dip into the milk and honey to put on my cheeks. It's a little bit hard, so I may be better off using a different brush, fan brush, but it's still putting it on there. Okay. I like to put my highlight on before I put my blush on because I just feel it will blend in much better. That's why I do that if some people want to know. I've seen that with a couple other makeup beauties. So, Okay beauties, so this is the finished look on my eyes. I think it does turn out really nice. I think it's a fun palette. I really do. I think it's a fun palette. I think this would be a nice palette for somebody to start off with. Maybe that's not too familiar with playing around with eyeshadows or maybe they're a little familiar with playing with eyeshadows and you know this would be a good first palette you have a whole different direction to go into you have your eyes and face you got the highlighters you got the contours i think the thing with this palette here the thing the things that i do like the orangey and pink colors you know like some some other colors in there and you know some fun colors to play with. You can get neutral, you can get smoky, you can get a little bold. Um, you know, it's it's just a little bit of everything. I, the eyeshadows, the eyeshadow pans seem to be about of the same size as some Lorac in the Lorac Pro. You know, the the Mega Pro palettes, those palettes they look up in the same size. These are more bigger, which is nice because you know. Obviously, you probably might use these more. I think $54 for this palette. So I got mine on easy pay, like on an easy pay. That's what I usually like, and I would recommend if you can keep an eye, if you are interested in this palette, um, 
you can wait and see if it does come back on easy pay I'm sure it will because they do always have easy pay here and there so I'm sure it will uh, that's when I would probably grab it if you are interested in this palette it's a really nice palette so overall it gets a thumbs up for me Beauty, so if you did find this helpful and you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. There's also a bell right beside the subscribe button. And when you click on the bell, you will get emails notifying you of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So make sure you hit both of them. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So till the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.